In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to configure Google Chrome to open pages on startup. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video, and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And one bit of important information here is that this method works only for the computers that are joined to Active Directory, or the computers that will be in the future joined to Active Directory. But until then, the settings would be inactive. And here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to enable this feature. Basically, it only creates few registry entries in Windows registry. This part right here is to enable the feature itself. And after that, we have a list of pages that we want to open every time that we open Chrome. For example, in this case, I will be opening YouTube and also Google. And you can add more pages if you want to. And now I will click on the button right here to copy the snippet. And then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows virtual machine. And this Windows virtual machine is joined to Active Directory. And that means that the settings should work fine. If I open Google Chrome now, you can see that it opens DuckDuckGo instead of Google and YouTube. So now let's open terminal application. Let's run it as administrator. Let me sign in. And in my terminal application, I will insert the PowerShell snippet. Let's press enter. It seems that the snippet executed successfully. And for the settings to apply, I need to relaunch Chrome. So I will close it and I will reopen it. And this time you can see that YouTube and Google opens up. If I close it and open it again, you can see that the same thing happens again. And that's it for enabling this feature. Now, if you want to disable it, we can go to the terminal application. Here I will type regedit, that brings us to the registry editor. I will go to local machine, software, policies, Google, Chrome. Here we have the registry entry that enables the feature. I will right click on it and remove it. And then inside of the Chrome key, we also have this key restore on startup URLs. And here we have the list of pages that we want to open. So if I right click here and select delete, we no longer have this key. If I close Chrome and then reopen it, once again, it opens up DuckDuckGo. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.